I wasn't filming, oh my god. What is going on guys? I am heading to the garage. I think I'm gonna work on the S14 tonight and uh, try to get some work done, try to clean it up. It's not necessarily warm, but it's not cold out. Thanks for everyone that's been commenting on solutions for the S13. You have no idea how big of a help it is when you're kind of struggling through a, a something and literally homies like you just say, oh, just do this. It literally was like, oh, I don't even think of that. I'm, I don't feel like getting too dirty tonight, so I'm not gonna go underneath the S13, but I'm gonna work on the 14 to clean it up. I'm gonna warm up the garage first though. The way we can get rocking. Literally like a slushy. Alright, while the garage warms up, I'm just going to do a quick once over. I'm gonna wipe it down dry. Try to get as much clean as possible. Um, we're really close, like we made some serious progress in the past couple day or I guess a month or so. Um, I probably should clean up my rear area, but uh, yeah, I don't know, because I think I'm just going to paint it black. Either do carpet or just rock the black for now. Um, even though black obviously doesn't stick. If you can see here, this was painted black, but I don't know. Maybe we can warm up the garage enough where it's, it's toasty and uh, man, I don't know. Alrighty guys, all cleaned up, wiped down. Couple spots I still gotta get to, um, but I'm not sure since I'm going with, I think I'm just gonna go with carpet, um, just because it's the easiest source to, for it to be clean. Not, I don't wanna take the time to strip every single thing down. Hold on, so let me see if I can I think we've made some good progress, not tonight, but like overall of the whole project, we've really kind of, uh, I don't know, we've gotten good. So far we've gotten, made the fuse panel. I still haven't tested it, but it should work. Um, cleaned up the floors, and next is paint floors. I think I'm just gonna go black, like I said, maybe like a textured black. And then we get the cage in, and then we're good to go. We just gotta fit the cage and make sure if, the, if needed, we'll cut the dash, which I really don't want to, because this dash is, even though it's dirty, it's like a, mint or mint dash whatever you want to call it so that that kind of stinks i'm not really looking forward to cutting up that dash um so besides from that we're almost close uh my body kit's apparently supposed to come this month i don't know um still in the air rear damage still haven't fixed bash bar still haven't been out um just had to put oil in it and it put my battery back in it because technically this battery is in the solstice right now put my downpipe on get a new uh, um, turbo blanket, put the intake pipe on, and we're ready. We're close. We're really, really close. We're, we're to the point where, like, if I, if we, it was, if it was crunch time and I needed to get to, um, like, if I needed to get to an event, I could button this up in, like, one day, realistically. Um, a lot of this stuff is kind of, like, unnecessary. I don't really need to do it, but I just want to do it while I'm there. Goal goal is to drive as much as possible. As much as last year, I would like to drive this year, so I'm pretty pumped up. Um, yeah, I always say that. Anyway, apparently I'm getting new seats, and, yeah, the, the interior's... The interior should be clean in theory. I just have to, I have to order the carpet, but before I order the carpet, I gotta order my cage. Oh, I'm struggle busting on that cage. I just don't feel like ordering it. But um, yeah guys, um, I just wanna do a little bit of work in the garage, kinda get down with it. I was, uh, I don't know, I just been, I don't wanna say unmotivated, cause I'm not unmotivated. I just, I don't know, I'm just doing struggle busting when it comes to, getting myself outside to get to work not necessarily because it's cold or anything it's just it's just me um i don't know what's going on but i don't give up we don't quit <laughs> so uh yeah i don't know what else to do there's not much not there's not much fun things to do with this car anymore 
until we get the new kit and I have a surprise but I, I don't want to I don't want to reveal that surprise for a couple months so um, I don't know it's, it's, it's January is weird because it's like a fun month a lot of cool things to do but everything this January is just pending like everything I'm working on everything I have in the future is just straight up pending either next month or the following month for me able to get or to show you guys all the stuff that we're working on um, behind the scenes because you know we, I'm, I try to give myself the opportunity to get better in all as aspects of this channel whether it comes to clothing production car content I, I'm always working on stuff and planning I just have to um, some things take a little longer because the way we do it um, so I'm just literally waiting on so many things just trying to work as hard as I can guys I don't know what else to do. Let me know what car do you like better, what, the videos wise. Do you like the S13 or the S14? Um, just curious, cause um, I don't. I like obviously love my S14. Like my my but my buddy almost tried. Well, we almost had a deal, and I didn't know what car he was talking about. And he was talking about my S14, and I was mentioning him that I literally, like I literally get sad at the thought of getting rid of my. Is that too loud? Is that better? Sorry, um, but anyway, my buddy was hit, my buddy hit me up and he like we were trying to work out of this deal and he was like, oh, um, I'll trade you uh, shell for shell because he had a cage S14. I'm like, word. I said, which which car? The S13. He was like, no, that's 14. And I legit like I legit get sad even thinking about getting rid of this car. There's no way in the world I would ever ever get rid of this car. This car means way too much to me. I've never felt a about it i've never felt the way i feel about this car about anything like any material item i never felt the way towards this car this car has been through been through so much with me and um it's my that's my boo bear you know what i'm saying like a legit like it's my jam and i'll never like i'll be i'll be so sad if anything ever happens to it not to be all weird <laughs> but it's just true i just i mean think about it. all these memories of the past two years like I've never had a car for two years, and February, I think end of February marks the two year of our relationship. Alright guys, back inside, we're going to film a little bit more. I have to design something. I have three designs to work on tonight. And my cat, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, I think we're going to be doing a um, My Lil Zanky. My Lil Zanky BD collab coming soon. This is stuff I can tell you. B My Lil Zanky BD collab, um, Filthy Joe racing suit, and I'm designing something for the sliders, the South Shore sliders. So I am have to really, really get to work. Hopefully, I don't know. I think I'm going to tackle the sliders one first. Or we'll start with there. I don't have no idea. Let's get inside and then let's get to work. What was that? What was that? The unicorn? Where's the unicorn? The unicorn. I think I just saw a unicorn run by. Where was the unicorn? Oh, I saw a unicorn. Freaking! Oh my! Look, there's the unicorn. I got her. I got her. We got her. We got her. What's up guys? So I spent, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes edit or not editing, um, designing this sweatshirt for the Slidas Drift Team. And I'm not happy with it yet. I just have to fine tune. It takes me a long time to design stuff. I just don't just like I very rarely clicks like sometimes it does, but very rarely does it click the first time. I always have to rework it or tweak it and I always find that my best ideas actually come naturally. But some all not all the designs I fly through and life is perfect and everything's good so I need to spend a little bit more time with this one and alongside with a, a lot of other work I'm doing my best absolute best to get better in designing it's really hard I'm trying different ideas different things um, it's 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 challenging for me to come up with something I'm excited about I'm overly picky and probably my worst critic I guess you could say I just get frustrated and I just close it out and close the file don't look at it so especially when it doesn't come the first time like a couple of designs one of most of my favorite designs just come to me flowing but boom bam out and uh, it's it's when I'm having 
difficulties is when I get frustrated and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to come to it later because eventually the idea will come to me. Sometimes shapes and it, uh, well, what's different is when I used to draw or do tattoos, um, they're, flu they're very fluent and they had a curvature because we were doing it on a, an actual human body, but with designs on t-shirts, um, you got kind of got to know what shapes to go to, that go together, how to work it, and what is able to be done on a t-shirt. So like when tattooing, you had so many options, different ways to get your shades, different ways to get your colors. But with t-shirts, um, I have a lot of people that come to me for designs and they'll ask me, okay, I want um, a, this art piece. It's going to be copper, right? Um, and I always reply to them like, okay, how many to like how many colors are there? Because with screen printing or printing in general, in most cases at this level, um, there's ways to there's ways to get multi-colored prints. But most of the time, screen printers will do up to five colors. So like if you're doing um, a two-color print, you'll have your co say it's copper. You'll have your copper and your shadow if it's um, three tones you'll have your copper shadow and highlight and um, a lot of times I just have to, I have to figure out and I struggle with this on how to replicate something with keeping the integrity of the, the idea it's the third time I'm trying to film this <laughs> my battery died I try not to have anything affect my mood as much as I can it's really hard especially when my my video corrupts, my battery dies, it's not recording. Life is getting frustrating. I try my best not to give up at all. And this has been the hardest two years, but we have not given up. <sighs> With that, happy freaking Wednesday for the last time. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you, boy. Um, hit me up on DMs. I love you. Yeah, happy Wednesday. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear. Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas. My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am. Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here. I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to. And the last one that you said goodnight to, I went home and cried to. And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you. Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact. And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back.